Wanna know the most important cooldowns and abilities from rogues and priests in PvP? Well, sit down and enjoy cause I got you covered as we're also gonna look at how we can react to them. Be sure to let me know in the comments what are the next classes you want me to throw in here and let's go! Starting it off with assassination rolls. Man, they have a lot of tools they can work with when it comes to defensives. First one being Cloak of Shadows. This makes the rogue immune to all magic stuff for 5 seconds and it comes at a 2 minute cooldown. If you are a caster or a melee DPS that also deals magic damage such as DKs and Rits, you want to force this one until you go for that massive burst. Same applies for evasion. This is strictly against physical damage as it provides an 100% dodge chance for 10 seconds. Your auto attacks and main melee spells will not hit him during evasion so either hit him with plain spell damage abilities or just switch to another target until evasion falls off. Another good defensive that they have is Faint. And every decent rogue uses the talent Elusiveness for it to provide a flat 30% damage reduction when used. Faint is on a 15 second cooldown and the damage reduction lasts for 5 seconds. So ideally you want to kill the rogue in this 15 second window, while him having evasion or cloak of shadows or both on cooldown. They can also make use of vanish in a defensive mode, this also being on a 2 minute cooldown, but if they have bleeds on them, they will reappear in combat after 3 seconds. If they only have magic dots on them, they can pair up vanish with cloak of shadows and remain stealth or just have the healer cleanse the magic dots from them. But the trade off is that for 2 minutes they can become quite vulnerable to killing. Now, when an assassination rogue wants to kill you, you mainly have to watch out for a full kidney shot as this will provide bleed damage from the talent internal bleeding, toxic blade which will increase all poison damage on you by 30% on a 25 second cooldown and most importantly Vendetta. This is kind of the soft combo they do in order to kill you, like Kidney Shot and Toxic Blade alone can put high amounts of pressure but it's not a one shot. However, if you see this shit on you, time to trink it and pop a defensive cooldown immediately. Be very careful with your positioning as well because in most cases Kidney Shot, Vendetta and Toxic Blade are paired up with the PvP talent Smoke Bomb. If this happens, there are zero reasons to not trink it and get out of there, as this smoke will not allow your healer to target you, so you will be forcing him to come out in the open making him vulnerable to crowd control. Smoke bomb lasts for 5 seconds and it has a 3 minute cooldown, so you have every reason in the world to get the fuck out of there. Outlaw rogues share the same defensives, uh, noting here that evasion is being replaced by repost. It looks like a warrior's die by the sword basically and it provides an 100% parry chance while also dealing a bit of damage back to the attacker. They also make use of cloak of shadows and faint so do it the same as you would do against assassination rooms. You need some of these cooldowns to be used before bursting his ass. If you have trouble tracking all of these, I highly recommend Gladius X for arenas as apart from its normal arena frames, you can customize it to show you all defensive and offensive cooldowns. Now, Outlaw Rogues have multiple ways to burst you down, Now, this pick being much more versatile than Assassination. First thing you have to be aware is what buffs they get from Roll the Bones. In case you don't know, Outdoor Rogues spend combo points for the ability Roll the Bones, which has a chance to provide 1, 2 or 5 buffs ranging from average to what the fuck out. You'll be able to see this on their character frame, so when you notice at least one of these two, Broadside or Grand Melee, these are the scariest and it's best to be ready to pop a defensive cooldown as the next thing that will happen is this shit right here, which is called Adrenaline Rush. This gives them 60% increased energy regeneration and 20% attack speed for 20 seconds. Now do take note, Outlaw Rogues deal a lot of damage with their auto attacks, okay, so that's really important. It has a 3 minute cooldown, but this is a bit relative, we'll get to cooldown durations in a second. 
Usually, this is followed up by Tricks of the Trade, which Talented provides a 10% damage buff to him and his partner, and then Between the Eyes, which is their stun, their replacement for Kidney, but this one also deals good damage, and Killing Spree, Outlaw Rogue's biggest DPS cooldown. Easy to spot as this has a weird teleporting animation while hitting you and if you didn't already use a defensive cooldown by now, you better use everything you got by this point. Uh, do take note that you can CC the rogue during his killing spree. So if you're not ready to use a defensive cooldown and he killing sprees, just use a stun or something. Important thing to know about Outlaw Rogues is that they have this passive called Restless Blades which basically lowers the cooldowns for Adrenaline Rush, Between the Eyes, Sprint, Killing Spree and Vanish by 1 second for each finishing move they use. So as long as they have super uptime, they'll be able to burst you much faster than Assassination Rogues. Outlaw sometimes plays with the PvP talent called Plunder Armor, which will lower the damage and the HP of that target for 10% and it will increase his by the same amount, both damage and HP. If you see this, it's usually a good indication that you will get burst down, so try to kite him or just use a defensive cooldown. Sadly, the subtlety spec is not that present in the meta at the moment. Please buff their damage blizzard. But once they'll be back, I'll make sure to cover them also. I love subtlety. Next! Priests. Ah, priests. A lot of you asked for this, so let's dive into Discipline Priests. Now, in order to kill a Disc Priest, you first have to be a class or play with one with some sort of Mortal Strike effect. Arms Warriors, Hunters, Assassination Rogues, uh, Windwalker Monks, and to some extent Unholy DKs can be successful at this. Second, you need to understand the major defensive cooldowns priests have, kicking it off with Pain Suppression. This will reduce by 40% the incoming damage and it can be used while stunned. You can spot this pretty easy as it looks like a much more glowing and powerful white shield on the target. It's on a 3 minute cooldown and suffice to say, you need this down before bursting. Second is Power Word Barrier. On a 3 minute cooldown also, it creates a big ass dome of light where inside of it all targets receive 25% damage reduction or 70% if they use the PvP talent dome of light. This lasts for 10 seconds. Third big cooldown you have to be aware of is Rapture. Easy to spot as the animation for it looks like this, a magical circle of runes. Now Rupture allows his shields to absorb an additional 200% damage for the next 10 seconds. If you want to kill the priest, you need to have at least 2 of these on cooldown before going for it. Of course they also have Desperate Prayer, which will increase their HP by 25% for 10 seconds and also heal them for that amount. This being on a 1.5 minute cooldown, but you can kill them through this no problem. Now, a lot of people seem to be confused on when is it good to interrupt a this priest. So let me break it down for you a bit. This priests work both with Shadow and Holy Schools. Okay, nothing new here. They will heal for 60% of the damage they dish out. Meaning that if you're going to interrupt a Smite or a Penance, which is from Holy School, they won't be able to deal damage, but more importantly, they won't be able to use shields, instant heals, such as Power Word Radiance, or the big defensive cooldowns I mentioned earlier. And this is kind of the only reason you want to kick them on their holy spells. If at least two of these big cooldowns are down, let's say Rapture and Pace Oppression, then your priority interrupt should be on Shadowman. Now, Shadowman is casted, but this heals for the biggest amount, and if you interrupt them on this, they will not be able to use their Fear or Shadow Fiend or Schism if they talent into it, okay? So, the main idea is interrupt their penances and smites when they have, uh, you know, a Rupture and Pace Suppress and Power Word Barrier up, and uh, then switch to interrupting their Shadowmans once two of these are on cooldown. Also, Please take note that this priest can be very offensive and can activate their team to deal a lot of damage, so please do use a defensive cooldown when you see this up. This is Dark Archangel and it's easy to spot as all their teammates get these black purpley wings 
This will buff the damage of all of them by 15% for 8 seconds. Now imagine this paired up with any 20% damage buff from other classes like Vendetta or Avenging Wrath. Now I really do hope this clears the air a bit when facing priests and rogues in arenas. I won't cover Shadow Priest just yet, I will wait for 8.1 to see exactly how the changes affect them and how they roll out into the meta. Thank you so much for watching guys and please let me know in the comments if this helped you in any way and of course the next video will be on the classes you leave in the comments and get the most thumbs up. Peace out fam!